All right, I'm in the kitchen with Bill Young from Safari Grill. Uh, just found out that we're neighbors, which I'm excited about because I got to come try the food now. So, Bill, yes. what are we making today? We're actually making a dish called Mishkaki skewers. It's a Mishkaki? E yes, Mishkaki. It's an East I, African I'm going to tell you, I'm going to mispronounce that yes. later on. Yes, give me a warning. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, so it's East so African? It's East African okay. Indian. So it has a lot of different ingredients infused mm -hmm. in it, but really great flavors. Yes, it? so break down what we got going on over here. So over here we have uh, some chopped garlic, mm -hmm. some ginger, some fresh lime. You want to use that for lime juice, some uh, lemon and lime. Sorry mm -hmm. about that. We have cilantro, kiwi for a little bit of ac wow. acidity. We use our New Mexico green chili mm -hmm. patch. We have our Roma tomatoes here, cumin, paprika, turmeric, serranos, olive oil, salt, and pepper. So you, you have, mix. You've you got stuff. everything. Yes, a little bit of everything. Wow, so. this is incredible. All right, this sounds like there is a lot of flavors going on. I know you got a lot of work that you got to get to, so I'm yes, going to let yes. you get to that, Bill, for now. Nice and dry and very hungry in the kitchen with Bill Young from Safari Grill. Bill, it you've already got sizzling. the skewers going. Yeah, right. what do you got going on here? So we're here we have the beef and chicken mishkaki. Okay. So mishkaki. it's cubed meat. You could do beef, chicken, you could do steak and uh, all white meat chicken breast here. Mm -hmm. okay. Marinated in these sauces that have been blended together Okay. overnight. And then Overnight, okay. ready for grilling. So. Okay, so what you've done since we've been gone is you mixed the so these this stuff together, all Correct. of this together. All of this together, and what it a seasoning gives you a sauce. Okay. Wow. This right here. And, and then so you just basically marinate it, you said overnight. Overnight. So it really gets the flavor, and then you throw it on this? On the grill, exactly. Jeez. You can do it on a barbecue grill at home or mm -hmm. on the stovetop grill, either way. Yeah. Okay. So. They said that this was an East African dish, Safari Grill. What kind of cuisine is it? Is it really, is it an African cuisine or is it a little more worldly? It is actually East African. It's actually Tanzanian. Tanzanian, okay. Mexican. Uh -huh. So it's, I'm actually from Tanzania. Oh, wow. So okay. this cuisine is from my home country, but. It has a lot of fusion of New Mexico and Indian influence in it. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have fused it to make new American dishes mm -hmm. and uh, more modern. Yeah. Okay. So and so you could take these skewers and use them. You can eat them right off the stick, mm -hmm. or you can make uh, street style tacos uh -huh. with them. Yeah. They're even great salad toppers. Mm -hmm. So okay. so anyway. Now is that kind of what your your menu consists of? Yes, we uh, we have a few main staple items that we serve. Okay. These are one of them. We also do ribs and these things called samosas. Mm -hmm. So they're very unique uh, dishes to our uh, traditional ethnic food, but mm -hmm. we've modernized them and changed them to uh, fuse with locality. So a lot That's of good great. flavors Dang. going on, a lot of great reviews about everything we yeah. do. Yeah. Well, so. speaking of, I mean, the accolades, first of all, I want to say you guys are really sort of a, a, a success story. You started out as a food truck. Exactly. And because of popularity, people kept saying, where's the restaurant? Where's the restaurant? Exactly. So you had to get a home base. We did. Now we're in the brick and mortar, and mm -hmm. uh, we just came out this month's uh, uh, beer and barbecue issue on Albuquerque the magazine. Wow. You can find a few things about the dishes that we have here and our short ribs on there. So okay. everything is really good. You have to come out and try it out. Something yeah. unique and different. That's now, fantastic. how long do these have to stay on this side? So these uh, cook about roughly, you want to keep them two and a half to three minutes on okay. each side. Okay. And so when they're finished off, you get those nice sear marks. Okay. Mm -hmm. We can flip them over with okay. these tongs right over here. And it smells great. In here. So, what are the hours of operation? We want to come out to Safari Grill and try out the cuisine. So, uh, we are open uh, Tuesday through s Sunday. Tuesday through Sunday. And then uh, Monday is our closed day. It's the only okay. day we get a little bit of break. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're open uh, 11 to 9 on weekdays, mm -hmm. Tuesday to Thursday, and uh, 11 to 10 on Friday and Saturday, and 12 to 8 on Sunday. Okay. Right. So, definitely come out and try it. Now, one thing that I want to say, which you told me, you gave me a little bit of tip for viewers out there. They want to try it. There's, there's a little trick to getting into the parking. Yes, yes. So tell so, us, so, so we know where we can park. So Safari Grill doesn't have uh, a direct turn in. Mm -hmm. okay. So you either have to park at Panera Bread and come from the back side mm -hmm. or next, uh, turn directly into Breakmasters. Okay. So okay. we're on the west side right after the river before the hill. Okay. So behind Cottonwood Mall right on Alameda. So Fantastic. come out and find us. So. All right. Well, we are going to get these things plated up during the break. Stay with us. We got a lot more ahead on Two Casa Style.